This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Okay, so we've been enjoying mild winter weather, but as we all know, uh, there's a downside. California is, of course, facing the threat of a serious drought this year. Leonard Mir shows us how some people are turning to ancient technology to help them weather the dry times. High in the hills of Boulder Creek, George Vega is planning to keep his acre property green, even if there is a drought. I've got a huge yard. I've got a garden. I've got a lot of plants to water, and I've got two tortoises. The giant tortoises don't drink much, but they graze every day. I need to keep this lawn green for them. And now he can do it with what he calls a rain harvesting system. It works by catching rain on the roof. The runoff goes through a high-tech filter called a gutter glove to keep out leaves and debris. Then it goes down to a secondary filter before being stored in four tanks, 1,700 gallons worth. One good storm will fill them all. The system has pumps and spigots, everything he needs, except water. Not yet. Waiting for rain. <laughs> he ran the hose today to show us the system, but normally this area gets 55 inches of rain a year. Cisterns have been around since ancient civilizations, and saving and using rainwater is a part of daily life in a lot of countries. But it really doesn't get widespread attention here in California, that is, until there's a drought. I don't know if the time comes where I might have to convert this water for drinking water or bathing water. Right now it's for outdoor use, but uh, it's good to know that I can collect water and maybe in the future do something with it. The price tag is steep. The finished system is just under $10,000. It would take years to recoup their investment, but for the Vegas, it's the principle they find attractive. I think it's exciting just to be able to go green and, and start conserving on our resources, the water especially being that we're in a drought. And they hope to convert others. They'll be holding an open house next week for their neighbors. Hopefully nature will just add water. In Boulder Creek, Len Romitas, CBS 5.